Hey, how you do, bitches? What's up? Let's, let's restart this, please. Don't restart that. What's up? Hi, it's me. We about to go and visit some abandoned places on Grand Bahama, fucking island. Uh, this is basically just this is gonna be in the first part of the video. Uh, but it's gonna be a multiple video sort of series, like three or four videos of the different places that you'll hover. It's gonna be for our first place, which is Viceroy Apartments. But anyway, so yeah, that's what we're gonna look at uh, as our first location and uh, see how much it's changed. So let's get ready to go on bench. Uh. So uh, Viceroy Apartments is the building right down there in front of us. We're walking there now. How do you feel, Tony? Aside from being hot. How about it? Good, good, good. Yeah, good. Yeah. Well, for some of you guys who haven't done this before, you might be wondering why we parked so far away. That's so we don't look suspicious. Sorry, Tony, I ended the footage right when you're about to talk. What were you saying? I was gonna say that, yeah, when you're gonna go explore abandoned places, it's best not to park at the location. Because then, nah, it's illegal. Roy. Especially when it says no trespass. Yeah. I had this problem a couple weeks ago. Mm hmm. And I was almost arrested. Yep. But luckily, I'm good so, at lying. That, so. <laughs> yeah, and he's lying right now. So, while we are walking here, a bit of history about the Viceroy apartments. I have no fucking clue, they're apartments. Uh, and yeah, and eventually, after it was closed due to just, you know, a bunch of hurricanes and lack of funding. The PLP, which is a Bahamian government party, bought it. I forgot they, uh, what the PLP stands for. I'll have it up on the screen. Uh, but they bought this building and they were going to uh, renovate it and turn it into an apartment complex again, but they never did. So it's just sort of sitting here rotting and uh, yeah, I'm just going to take a look at what's in there. So right here is the sort of entrance. That building right there was the main office. Um, and then these were the actual apartment condos right here. Yeah, this is just the main office right there. This is the upstairs of the main office. I am assuming this is where staff would hang out. But what I find cool is in all this rubble and stuff, there's some plants right here. Just sort of growing, chilling, nature taking over. That's all it is. to say about this area here just uh 
just the hallway that would lead to each individual room. Uh, yeah, doors were taken away. Now, obviously, this isn't like Pripyat or something where it's like a forced, you know, evacuation. They had time. Everyone knew, hey, you know, we're going to close here because the doors were taken down. There's hardly any belongings. Electrical equipment was taken out, so they obviously had time to prepare. It wasn't like, you know, just a sudden getting, getting up and, leave, and leaving. But see, this is a bathroom, but half the stuff were taken out. This is found footage. What you're seeing is the current film for two teens were mysteriously found missing. Some suspected it to be a serial killer. Some suspected it to be a ghost. But the two teens that you see now are soon dead. Oh gosh, look the ghost is possessing his ass. He can't stop twerking. Well, whoever lived here left their beer, or maybe someone just came up here to crack open a nice cold one with the boys. God, you gotta take a dump too? Oh yeah, okay. <laughs> now this boy here found something that I did not find last time. That was a key. I don't know if someone just left it here, or maybe it actually used to go to one of the rooms here, but hell, I'm keeping it. Well, here's one of the balconies on the second story. There's, uh, it's raining out. There's the pool. Now, I don't know if you can see it, but I'm looking across in that room right there. I don't know if you can see it, but there's, I think I see clothes in the closet. Either it was left there, or maybe someone still lives there, who knows. So... We have found the wild Tony in his natural habitat. Oh no, oh no, we got him angry, we got him angry, go! Ah, uh, well, I want to go on there, but I'm afraid I'm too fat and heavy. I literally just walked all over it. Uh, that's safe, but you know, actually it probably is safer than a lot of abandoned buildings in the US because there is, if there's one good thing here, they have very strict building code, construction code. Um, most houses and buildings have to have, um, the walls aligned in, in cement or cinder blocks, not just simple plywood and, you know, what, whatever other mesh that you're allowed to have in the States. Yeah, so a lot of... Right, so here, a lot of these buildings tend to last a lot longer because of the cinder blocks and more hurricane resistant, so... Welcome to MTV Cribs. So, welcome. Yo, what's up? Welcome to my crib. This is where I keep my clothes. This hey. is where I sleep on my pants. Hey. This is where I keep my bitches. Hey, this is his bitch room right here. Yeah, you thought... just like you, motherfucker. Oh, fuck. No, what are you doing? Oh, my... yeah. oh. oh no, wonder the bitch... no wonder he lost all his bitches. They found a way to escape. This is the this is the bitch be gone hole. Oh, okay. That's something I want to point out is you look at this, you see this kitchen, right? Now you look at the cabinets, you might you must think, oh, okay, you know they decayed, they sort of started bending. But look at the wood. Both pieces of wood are parallel and bending down. Uh, it's designed to be diagonal like that, and it's. I think it looks pretty stupid, but someone thought it was a good idea.
Whoa, look at you. You could say he's living life on the edge. <laughs> so these stairs should take us to the roof. Sadly, it is not an open roof. There's a lot of walls protecting us from the edge, but you can still get a good view if you just stick your arm out. Now there's this door. Tony might remember seeing this door in my photos. I don't know. Uh, so yeah, just sort of got to slide on through here. <laughs> here, you want me to hold that? All right, hope you got your tetanus shot. Good. You could do that. Here, you want me to hold it for you? You can get through. All right. I don't have to worry about it ever again. Why did I just do that last time I came here? <sighs> oh, here's the roof. There's the condominium that's still working next to us. Oh, water, it's water. Oh, it's about to rain. Oh, there, <laughs> there are bees there. Oh, it's like it smells like honey. Oh my god, this is an awesome. Oh, sorry, this is an awesome. So, place. I'm just standing here. So, I'm just standing here. I'm like, ah, it's really pretty. Hey, it also smells like honey. I wonder why. So, yeah, we pretty much looked at all there is to see. There is another building there, but I personally don't think there's much there. When I went to the first like story or two, there's nothing there. Plus, there are those clothes I showed you, and I suspect someone lives there. Uh, but yeah, that was about all there is to see for the Vice Roy Apartments. Um, oh yeah, uh, we won't be able to go this way. Now this is weird, because we came in, like yeah, see this is the, this is where it confused us. Oh, I know, it came from this yeah, one. It came from yeah, it came from the middle. But yeah, that's all there is to see with the Vice Roy Apartments. Tony, how do you, how do you feel about this place? Pretty cool, pretty cool. Yeah, like the beehive. Oh yeah, the beehive is cool. That's where... The locals get their honey. I don't know. Yep, so that's all it is for the Viceroy Apartments. Till the next video. Check out all the fucking links in the description. You know where the hell it is. And yeah, I don't need to tell you. Uh, in the meantime, say bye, Tony, and we'll see you in the next building.